Alrighty. Hi, soul family. The sun's hitting me over here, so. <laughs> um, but good morning. I wanted to say that I can feel a lift in energy and I want I want you guys to know that like it's okay to spend time with your own energy. It's okay to take time away from everybody, everything, every person and just be with your just be with yourself. Okay? Um and the more intentionally we choose to live and the more presently we choose to live is when we feel the happiest. When we are living in our head, living in our minds um, about what we want to do, what we could do, we are crippled, we're stuck, okay? Um, and sometimes it really just takes one step. You don't have to overdo it. Like, starting small. If you said that you want to, I don't know, um, learn how to horseback riding, horseback ride, you can go once a week. Start small, you know what I mean? Go see some horses. Like, don't just, like, let your mind keep you crippled because fear will tell you all the reasons why you should not do something. And it could be the simplest things, and you may think it's harder than it is. Like, even when I was applying for my business license, like my the fear in my head was saying, oh, my God, it's going to be so complicated. And you know what I did? I literally stopped. I asked ChatGBT. I was like, yo, in my state, w send me the link to apply for my business license. And it was just that simple. Because like, I, I felt like I was going to have to look all around to try to find this one link. Maybe I would have applied to the wrong place. No. It was literally just that simple. So, like, we overthink it all the time when we, like, we sit down and we're like, you know, what are all the reasons it can go wrong? Let's think of the reasons that it can go right. <laughs> um, and it's okay, like, to fail at something. But the thing is, when we don't even try is when our soul and our heart feels unhappy because we never even gave it a shot right because if you don't even try then you won't even have known if it would have worked or not and if it didn't work and you continue to try it's because you didn't try other methods like the people who don't succeed are the people who don't try people who try at things they succeed eventually if it's not the first time and no one's perfect at things the first time with social media we think that because that's how it looks online but we never saw how many um tries it took how many times they got up and fell how many times they um things exploded when they tried to do science experiments. we never saw how many times but like when we really detach i think like now is the time to just really detach from social media and focus on yourself focus on your healing journey focus on the things that you truly want to do like start small what is the simplest thing that you can do today to make a difference and then it really only takes a few days to make that commitment like for me like i'm um actually i don't want to talk about that until it's like um solidified but um i decided to commit myself to this one thing for just 30 minutes a day and it's been making the world of a difference i set my timer for 30 minutes i sit down i put on my frequency i get it done and i've been getting it done and it, it was so overwhelming to me to think about it as a whole spectrum because i was like i don't know what i'm doing but all of the things that people drop and they do they didn't know what the hell they were doing either but they just gave it a shot you know and i'm just here to say guys give it a shot that is true freedom when you allow yourself to just be exist okay um a lot of times we worry about what other people think about us and that keeps us stuck because then you're living for them your entire life goes by and you've just been living for them um so i decided to bring out my book uh, the gift of the present moment. I I recently just started this book, um, so I'm not that far in. <laughs> but I figured when I opened the page that we'll have a message in there for us today because the present moment is really where life begins. Okay. Um, see. Okay. This is the first sentence I see. In this way. We won't remain stuck in the same old habits and we can take control of our own happiness by taking control of how we choose to respond to life's challenges. So when a, a challenge comes up, you can you can let this be like, oh my God, woe is me. Or you can let this be a story where you prevail and you, you triumph that challenge. Life is not without challenges. But when you rise up to meet those challenges, I promise you, it is not. it gets less and less scary, less and less intense. Because fear is what keeps us stuck. But when you come face to face with all of your fears, life is freeing okay but it's all the things that we tell ourselves that we cannot do that makes us unable to do things and that all comes back to our limited beliefs that we need to release and let go of Re reprogramming your mind um sitting with your thoughts and saying okay what negative thoughts do i think about myself what do i think that i cannot accomplish write those down 
and I want you to write down positive affirmations after it. And then you're going to get up and you're going to tell yourself this every day. Okay? Um, okay, so this one says, more accepting and letting be means less less judging many mindfulness teachers use the phrase accept things as they are but i appreciate the T teasdale williams and siegel add, add one important word to the familiar phrase they say accept things as they are the addition of already sounds final to me as in nothing can be done and that in and of itself somehow helps me be more accepting of all whatever i I may be facing and less likely to dwell on what I think should be. So a lot of the times when we live in anxiety because we think that things should have turned out differently, all we have to do is really accept it because we cannot go back and change it. And when we ruminate on why this didn't work out or why it should have played this this specific way, it just keeps us stuck in that moment, that time loop. Because you're not living, you're, you're forcing your body to stay there and ruminate on what could have gone better. So you're really allowing yourself to not move. You're allowing yourself to be stuck. Um, you just have to make your peace with it. Like, talk through yourself. Um, and I think the best way to make your peace with whatever situation is, is to ask your inner child, what about this hurts so much? And cry. Cry, release. Like, the more you cry about something and let it out, the more you are also allowing your emotions to to walk through you. You don't get to decide how long it takes for your emotions to fully like leave your body. But when you decide to ruminate on it all the time, it is you choosing to stay in that moment of time, okay? Um, you can allow yourself to process your emotions, but also be putting one foot forward for you. What is it on your journey that you always wanted to do, but you were too afraid to do it? The more you do the things you're afraid of, the less scary they become. Okay. Um, what cards do I want to pull for you guys today? Let me see. I think I'm going to pull from my spiritual gifts deck some stuff that you guys can know that you are talented with i feel like starting it off with something positive that you know what this is your spiritual gifts that spirit blessed you with so maybe try learning about one of them today Dip, dipping your foot in it okay um and then i'm going to pull from my wisdom deck and Okay, I don't use that deck um, with you guys. Sorry, that was a personal deck. Um, and then I'm going to use the future higher self deck. Any messages from your future higher self that you may need at this time. So let's start with the wisdom deck. Any guided messages, spirit, for my collective? Any guided messages from my collective? Hmm. Sorry. Oh, no. So, see, one of these cards on the bottom popped out at me. So, I'm going to pull two then because this one, once I see it, I got to read it. Milk and honey. And I love the rainbow that's on top. It's very magical. Anytime I see a rainbow, it just feels so magical. Um. Anyway, so let's, let's also pick another card. Spirit, any messages from my collective? Any messages from my collective, Spirit? Any messages from my collective spirit? Any messages from my collective spirit? In my time. Alrighty. Alright, spirit, we welcome in any messages. Any messages from my collective today? It's funny that I pulled this card because the tattoo that I'm getting today is breathe is the breed symbol. So really what spirit is saying that is all we really need to do is to breathe, to be present, to be more present. When you focus on your breath, you are in the present moment. Okay. So whatever that's overwhelming you with anxiety or you feel like it's out of your control, stop when you feel yourself ruminating on these thoughts and breathe. Just like in for four seconds, hold for um four seconds, out for four seconds, okay? 
um and you can also do four seconds in hold for six out for eight whichever okay let's see why am i packing this up without reading the um <laughs> the interpretation for you guys let's see so i'm gonna focus on breathing first because i think this one's really like jumping out to me so breathe 29 over 29 that's also 11 okay so you're exactly where you're meant to be right now okay breathe essential message so spirit is saying patience waiting going slowly wellness meditation and trust so what you need right now is trusting the divine that they are working in your best favor okay and patience like we don't get anything before it's time we can manifest and manifest and manifest but before divine divine timing it is not gonna come okay um and moving slowly like stop trying to rush to the end or see the finish line okay spirit is saying that you just need to focus on the steps that are in front of you and then one day you're gonna open your eyes and you're like shit i crossed the finish line okay but when you when you think about like how far the finish line is it's overwhelming that brings on the anxiety okay your oracle message patience in all things is called for right now what do you need to do when you are in a rush slow down slow down of course meditate and trust breathe and repeat humans cannot exist without drawing breath now is the time to allow the life-giving element of air to replenish your body your being and your every essence and your very essence stop to smell the roses breathe in the sunlight and release the darkness and miracles will appear for those of you in a relationship a relationship message don't be in too much of a hurry right now the heart needs time to open take a breath and let nature take its course release constriction constriction and anxiety for there is no need for tension savor the moment and the waiting won't prove difficult your heart knows what the ego often resists learning patience pays off in deep and meaningful ways so prosperity message you have worked long and hard. Your dreams are coming to fruition. You want to hurry things along. You are the slow one moving languidly, yet still progressing right now. In a rhythm dictated by your authentic nature, the essence of your dream and the will of the universe, slow and steady wins the race. You will indeed win if you relax. Stay the course, trust your intuition and breathe. So trust in your inner guidance right now and you're being called to just chill, to relax, like take a breath, breathe, okay? Don't think that your your desire anything meant for you cannot be taken from you. You will not miss your time. You will not miss your moment. Your moment will come when it is time. A lot of the times, you know, when I realize when things do manifest in my life, it's a lesson that I needed to learn before I got it. Because if I had not learned that lesson, then I would not have been able to properly handle that manifestation. And God, spirit, your intuition, your um, higher self, they it all knows. Like, they all know what you can handle, what you cannot handle. We believe we can handle things. That's why it's like God knows more than we know always okay number 51 milk and honey let's see what this one because this one really stood out to me so let's see what it's saying okay milk and honey the taste of prosperity opportunities born of authenticity nurturing abundance trusting that your needs will be met okay so right now spirit really wants us to be in our authentic authenticity i i like to do this when i call upon my higher self during meditation so i allow myself to fully merge with my higher self and not worry about anything else your higher self knows who you are they know where you're going and they did they don't allow other people to dictate who they are where they go what they dress as what they how they behave how they talk how they show up they don't do that because guess what they are above all of that okay um your oracle message you've entered a sweet time in your life enjoying the land of milk and honey that everyone wants to experience it's an interlude that feels more languid than ambitious when all your senses are awake to the unlimited possibilities in the universe these times are precious and only come when you are in your authentic zone wearing the world as loose garment not wanting yet able to be nourished in ways both tangible and subtle 
Abundance is an energy that you are a living part of. All your needs are being met. You are given the gift of nourishment in every form. Whew, that's nice. Um, sensu so your relationship message. Sensuality, connection, and passion, passionate romance between lovers. Sweet moments of understanding and love among friends and family are all here for you to savor now. Your heart's calling will be answered let your thoughts and feelings be sweet with gratitude and you will be nourished with the honey of abundance so abundance is not just money abundance is like fulfilling relationships soul fulfilling relationships um it is good health um health wealth happiness is also abundance guys so look around and be grateful for what you have right now don't worry about the small man manifestations you ever think about how rich people can sit in a big house and still be unhappy it's because they lack that love. They lack that other things, you know? They don't have genuine people around them. And I don't care what you say if, oh, um, I, money can buy me happy. No, it can't. Because think about some something that you wanted before that you now have that you don't, you don't appreciate that much. Because it's just like a normal for you now. Right, exactly. So none of these things, these material things are gonna actually bring you happiness. What's going to bring you happiness is from within how you feel about yourself okay so working on that self-love working on that how you feel about you doing things for you loving on you stop judging yourself stop learning to accept yourself wholeheartedly will be the biggest freeing feeling that you can ever feel i'll be honest with you guys like when you work through that shadow work working on the things that like are holding you back it hit different so your prosperity message there is only one authentic you this version of yourself is spirits emissary emissary in the world when you're in alignment with the truth that you are a unique expression of the divine your ego can rest and your soul can illuminate your purpose now is the time when you are seeking your truth north when you find this direction you automatically step into prosperity and the world brings you evidence of abundance miracles are a choice and a way of seeing the world with every choice you make right now you have the potential to seize good fortune and embrace your destiny opportunities will lead you to your best life now be open to them you're getting a sweet taste of what you want so be open if you live in the present moment you'll be able to see in exact what ways that are that spirit is bringing in manifestations for you but when we are worried about the manifestations coming we miss we miss the we miss the cues we miss the the signs okay so live more presently the gift of the present moment it's a it's a gift that's what's called the present okay so live presently and intentionally okay so that's that from there let's see what your spiritual gifts are okay let's see which ones you guys can dive into right now I'm very excited to see this for you guys. Um, also getting that some of you guys are good at numerology. Um, okay, maybe diving into that. Reading up on that. It, it really could be one small step, guys. I'm telling you. See, numerology. Numerology. Some of you guys are really good at numerology. One small step for man. One small step for man. Okay. Let's see. Spirit... What are our spiritual gifts? Oh, okay. This one wanted to come out too. So let me just, it flipped over in there. So let me just, uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. Okay. I'm going to split the deck and pick two more as well. Okay. Let's see. The ones that popped out. Candle maker. You're being called to explore crafting sacred candles for rituals and spiritual healing for the soul. That's lovely. So some of you guys could be candle makers. Um, dice divination. You're being called to explore throwing dice for spell casting and divination. Interesting. 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 This one. Creativity. You're being called to explore creative expression. Bring forth the healing nature of the arts. Okay. All right, so guys, we can always like master our crafts, okay? Um, clear audience is you're being called to explore the words and sounds you're hearing to deliver the message messages from the spirit, from spirits and guides. Ooh, clear audience. Some of you guys are clear audience. It's very interesting. 
manifestation coach. You're being called to explore sharing your knowledge of manifestation to help remove blocks and make dreams come true. Okay, period. Mm, I love that for y'all. One more. Spiritual retreat host. Ooh. You're being called to explore hosting spiritual events or retreats to promote clarity and complete renewal. What? Guys, that, that is so cool. That is so cool. Um, so give those a shot and um, research it. That's all I can say is research it. You, A lot of the times you guys think people just wake up knowing stuff. Nobody come out the coochie knowing nothing. Okay? When you come out the coochie, the only thing you're doing is crying. Because why am I here again? That's all That's all your soul's wondering. Because <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> but, um... Let's see what your future higher self has to say. Okay. So I noticed this at the bottom of the deck before I even start to shuffle. It says answers appear when you release the question. So those of you that keep on asking the question, um, whatever anxiety question you have, just release it. Let it go. Ask the question and let it go. Okay. Allow the answers to come to you because they always come when the perfect time is, not when you want it to come. Okay, let's shuffle that deck. All right, Harry Self, any messages? Any messages for this collective? Okay, any messages? one the one that popped out look for the signs that will guide you to the destiny you have known all along oh okay guys so i feel like the more presently we decide to live we will see the signs that we are looking for you don't have to go out searching for your purpose your purpose is going to find you you don't have to worry about it okay don't worry too much about it um some of you guys might be into horseback riding i'm really really getting that as a strong collective that it's good it's going to be very important for your spirituality okay when you bond with someone in spirit, you both become a greater force for good. Okay, don't shy away from connections, guys. Your soulmate, some of you guys may be meeting your soulmate or recently meeting your soulmate or in a soulmate connection. Okay. <clears throat> Everyone you meet is another part of you that wants to be loved. Okay, so some of you guys that are feeling that anxiety or... Um, have been recently hurt by someone just know that that is another version of you that wants to be loved like the card says but like think about it from a perspective of when you've been there before what in this person do you see in yourself right ask your inner child what does this represent to you how what does this person represent to you and stay take a step back from it take your feelings out of it take your ego out of it and truly be honest with yourself when we're honest with ourselves is when we can really heal. But if you're sitting there like, oh, I'm not stubborn, I'm not stubborn, but you are stubborn, how are you going to heal if you can't even admit to yourself? Okay? Your shadows are just hiding the light right now. Oh. Some of you guys, like, really need to focus on that shadow work. That shadow work. To really figure out what's going on, what's causing all of this anxiety. That shadow work is very important. Okay? One more message. Know that whatever decision you made, it was the right one. So stop reminiscing on what should have happened, what could have happened. Spirit is saying, this is the right decision that you made. Your higher self is saying that that was the right decision for your path, for your growth. Nothing is happening to you. It's happening for you at all times. And when we have that mentality that is happening to me, that victim mentality is when we can never grow. We cannot let go of things. Okay, we think that everything in the world's out to get us. And guess what? The universe has to reflect back what we feel, okay? What we feel, um, we deserve. So if you are in that victim mentality and you think that, oh, everything just keeps happening to me, it's going to be turned up. It's going to keep happening to you until you decide that I have the power. The power with, is within me. Nothing's happening to me. It's happening for me. So what can I learn from this? Now, how is this hurting me? But what can I learn from this situation? When we rephrase our questions and make them into questions and being curious about what is happening versus saying that this is what it is and I'm being this is being done to me, it's a completely different mind, mindset shift. You get you gain back that power. Okay, um, so that's the messages that I have for you guys today, honestly. So um, I wanted to pick up my authenticity book actually to leave you guys with a message, just a message. Let's see what message spirit has for us. Okay, 
so I see the word relax so let's start from this God is a potter is the potter and we should relax and let him work in us as he sees fit let me encourage you to be kind be be the kind of clay that is pliable and moldable in the potter's hand not the hard crumbly kind that is difficult to shape Learn God's ways and easily adapt to them rather than stubbornly resisting and rebelling against change. So whatever it is that you are resisting against right now, you know that it's time to release it because you are, are changing. And when you are changing, that means people have to go. People have to be removed from your circle. And you don't even know why God is removing that person. And I bet you, if you decide to, anybody that you decide to keep in long past their due date, when God says it's time for them to get up out of there, is always when you have experienced suffering and pain. Because we don't see the bigger picture, but God does, okay? So what does that mean? That means trusting that the divine is always working for you. That person was removed for you. Every time you decided to keep somebody in your life longer than they needed to be, it was always hurtful because you weren't listening. Now is the time for you to listen. Let go. Really let go. Okay? That's the message I have for you guys today. I love you guys. Live intentionally. Live in the present moment. That's where life is. Okay? That's when you start to feel again like yourself. That's when your soul will be the most happy. I love you. Bye-bye.